The land of the free, the land of opportunity, the peacemaker. The United States of America has honoured itself with all these titles and more since its inception. But marred by a track record of war and military invasions, does the world outside America feel the same way? Or has the peacemaker now become the warmongerer? Born out of a bloody struggle between the American settlers and the British Empire, the United States won its independence on the 2nd of July 1776. At only 236 years old, it's a baby compared to other Western nations like France and England, who are each over a thousand years old. Nevertheless, the infant has quickly risen from novice to world superpower and has played an unforgettable role in human history. And by 1941, Henry Luce of Time magazine coined the idea of the American century. It signified an idea of the US as a compassionate but involved power on the world stage, acting in a missionary capacity as a good Samaritan, a world police, a peacemaker, bringing safety and stability to problem countries. However, in many corners of the world, the United States is seen as manufacturing crisis, not responding to them. On August the 6th of 1945, the United States used a massive atomic weapon against Hiroshima, Japan. Equivalent to 20,000 tonnes of TNT, it flattened the city, killing tens of thousands of civilians. And while Japan was still trying to comprehend the devastation three days later, the US struck again, this time on Nagasaki. These two events are the only use of atomic weapons to date. In the last century, America have intervened or committed war crimes in 148 countries. That's 75% of the world's nations, and it includes countries large and small, states from every continent. But Mitt Romney, former senator to the states of Massachusetts and president nominee, argues that the world needs American leadership. The Middle East needs American leadership. And Robert Kagan, American historian and foreign policy commentator at the Brookings Institute, writes that free markets and democracy couldn't thrive without American interference. He argues that if the balance of power shifts in the direction of other nations, the world order will change to suit their interests and preferences. And if history is our guide, we may make a transition to a new world order. With resentment at American foreign policy at an all-time high and a world awash in anti-Americanism, Many will be questioning, is America a peacemaker or a warmongerer? Shazad Chowdhury, reporting for Levant TV, London.